In this video, we'll look at the type of reaction for H2SO4 plus MgOH2, sulfuric acid plus magnesium hydroxide. So when I look at the equation, I notice that I have water over here. So when we have water, and this is an ionic compound, we'll call this a salt. When you have water and a salt, an ionic compound, you should be thinking it might be neutralization. When we look over here, we have sulfuric acid. We know that because we've memorized it. This is an important one to memorize. But also it has an H in front. That's a hint that it's an acid. Here we have a metal bonded to an OH group. So this is a hydroxide. When we have a metal and a hydroxide, that's going to be a base. So we have our acid and our base. They neutralize each other to form a salt and water. Neutralization reaction. It's a good idea to memorize this table here of acids. These are the common acids that you should memorize. We can see on the table that we have sulfuric acid right here. That's an acid. It's a strong acid. And MgOH2, it doesn't show up on either one of our lists, strong or weak bases. We know, though, that OH group bonded to a metal, that's going to be a base. We could also take a look at a table of common chemical reactions. So these are common types of chemical reactions. As we look down, we know that it's a neutralization reaction because we have an acid and a base give us a salt and water. They write that HX, H in front of something, that's an acid, MOH, a metal, and a hydroxide, and you get your ionic compound and water. But it's also a double replacement reaction. And that's because the hydrogen and the magnesium, they trade places. They replace each other. So we have hydrogen is now with the OH, so HOH, that gives us HOH is H2O, and then magnesium goes with the sulfate, we get magnesium sulfate. We should balance this equation for it to make full sense. So let's put a 2 here, and that is balanced. So this is the type of reaction for H2SO4 plus MgOH2, sulfuric acid in magnesium hydroxide. It's both neutralization and a double replacement reaction. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.